So after having four girls, I think the majority of us were hoping for a boy. One, two, three. Oh my freaking crap. But I'm happy to announce we are having a girl. And I just have to say my husband has been spot on on guessing the gender of every single one of the children and he just knew this one was gonna be a girl too. Thanks guys for celebrating with us. But if you're here for the recipes, this week I am making three easy air fryer recipes that only take 15 minutes from start to finish. So if you guys are ready, let's just jump right in. The first recipe I'm making is queso chimichangas. All right, so I'm gonna start with a rotisserie chicken all cut up, ready to go. And we're gonna add about a cup and a half of your favorite rice. Now this is the quinoa and brown rice. I really like using it because it's just a little bit healthier. Then we're gonna add one cup of salsa because we need a little bit of liquid in there. Then you're just gonna mix this all together. This is going to be the insides. All right, now it's time to fill up the tortillas. So I'm using about a half a cup or so of the filling, and I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese to my filling because I like the insides nice and cheesy. Then to fold it up, you're going to fold in two of the sides and then just very carefully roll it up. Now I like to kind of have it flat on the top and the bottom so it will cook better. Then you're gonna take your chimichangas and just put them into the bottom of your air fryer. I like to spray the top with a little bit of olive oil and we're ready to cook. All right, so we're gonna go at 360 degrees and then we're only gonna cook it for four minutes and then we'll flip them. So after you flip them, you're just gonna cook them for another four minutes. All right, they're all done. Ooh, they are nice and crispy. Now is time for the toppings. This is the secret of a good chimichanga. So we're gonna use white queso. We heated this little guy up and we're gonna just make him nice and cheesy. And I like to add on the vegetables so we can put on our lettuce, our tomatoes, and then I just like to have a little guacamole on the side too because it just is what makes it taste so good with all the toppings. And there you have it, queso chimichangas. We got our taste tester here. You wanna say your name? Ensley. This is Ensley. She's my second daughter. Chimichangas, should we give it a taste test? Yep. I'm a little further along. Feeling a lot better, you guys. Food actually sounds pretty good right now. Oh, good cat. Good cat with your legs. <laughs> oh, mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Queso is good. Okay, next time we make chimichangas, queso. You got a rating for me? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it a five while she chews. I like it, but I just don't really like spiciness, so I'll give oh. it a four. A four, it's got a little kick, so. <laughs> Good to know, good to know. Yep. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next dinner that I'm making in the air fryer is our turkey and Swiss sliders. Okay, I'm gonna start with the King's Hawaiian rolls. The only bad thing about the air fryer is that they all won't fit, so I actually am pulling three aside. So we're just gonna cook the nine right now. So if you have a smaller family, this will work perfect. So I actually, I cut these in half, We'll just open them right up. Then we're gonna make the yummy sauce that goes inside. You do anywhere from a fourth a cup to a half a cup of mayonnaise and then and about a fourth a cup to a half a cup of honey mustard. So you just wanna make sure that these are kind of like the same amount, but yeah, I'm gonna do about a fourth a cup and then mix them all together. Then I am just going to scoop on the sauce and just spread it around the best that I can. Once you have both sides you wanna have covered in the sauce, then it's time to add your turkey. So I love using the deli meat. I just think it tastes a lot better. So you just need one side, make sure that you have all the bread covered. So now we're gonna add the Swiss cheese. I love just getting this pre-cut Swiss cheese. It just makes my life a lot easier. So we're just gonna make sure that all the pieces have some Swiss cheese on them. So we're gonna gently put this on, there we go, and put it right into the air fryer. Okay, so now we need the topping. So this is one fourth cup of butter that we've melted. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of, we're gonna call it the W sauce, just because I struggle saying it with W sauce. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, W sauce. Then we're gonna do one tablespoon of poppy seeds. That seems like a lot, but trust me, it makes it taste so good. Okay, then go ahead and mix this all together. This is going to be your yummy, like topping on top of it. It's gonna make it taste so good. Now it's just time to cover the tops 
with the poppy seed butter amazingness. Okay, now we're gonna cook it at 350 degrees. We're gonna go for five minutes and then check on it just so it's not burning. I checked these at three minutes and they are starting to get crispy on the top, but the cheese is all melted. So we're gonna call this a win and cook them. Just so you know, I only cooked them for three minutes. The next one is the sliders. You ready? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna let you take a bite first and I'll take a bite after you. She's the kid who likes sauces and mayonnaise and stuff, so I'm curious of your thoughts. I like the crunch at the top. Okay. So. And other than that, it pretty much just tastes like a normal slider. Right, we have sliders a lot at our house, but <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Okay, one out of five. Uh, five. Five? I'll go to five too, I love sliders. <laughs> All right guys, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> and the last recipe I'm making today is our air fryer chicken parmesan. Okay, so I'm starting by taking a piece of chicken and I cut, actually cut it right in half, like butterflied it, so it's nice and thin. This is what we want for chicken parmesan. So then we're gonna put it into our flour mixture. Now this is just about a third cup of flour with a little bit of salt and pepper. We just want to cover all sides with the flour. Next, we're gonna go to our egg mixture. This is just two eggs and we're just going to coat it here the best we can. These are big chicken pieces. And then I'm just gonna actually leave it in the egg. I forgot to mix the rest, so let me show you what's going in this one. We have one cup of panko here. That's close to a cup. We're gonna guesstimate, because that's how we work. And then we're gonna take a half cup of grated Parmesan. Oh, just ignore those chunks. I'll get those in a second. <laughs> Throw it all in there. Then I just have some spices and seasoning. I'll put the ingredients down below so you can so you can find all those. And we'll just pour those in too. Make sure you chop up your cheese because no one wants a big chunky cheese. <laughs> that would be so gross. All right, we're gonna mix this all together. Now we're ready. We're gonna take our chicken out of our egg. There we go. And put it into our panko mixture. Okay, we're gonna be all covered and then we're just gonna put it right into the air fryer. So now I'm gonna take my olive oil and just spray it on. Okay, we're gonna go to 400 degrees, and then our time, we're just gonna go for five minutes and then flip it, and then add a little bit of the good stuff. It's looking really good. You can tell it's still not cooked all the way through. This chicken is really thick, so we might have to cook it a little bit longer, but we're gonna try. Okay, so we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna add the marinara sauce, because of course this is Parmesan chicken. Sorry, just ignore my kids in the back. They're just biting. And you can really add as little or as much as you want. We're just gonna cover it right now. And of course you need the mozzarella on top. Now I did order the fresh mozzarella, but they gave me mozzarella pearls. So we're just gonna do the shredded mozzarella today, which will still work just fine. Okay, we're gonna cook this. 400 degrees for about three more minutes and we'll check it from there. Okay, so we had to do a temperature check. You want it to be 165 degrees in the chicken. So we had to go an extra minute or two because these are big chickens. All right guys, this might be my new favorite thing in the air fryer. But the nice thing about making food all in one day is that you get a lot of options for dinner, right? Yeah, yeah. She's the non-picky child. <laughs> she usually likes my cookies. <laughs> okay, this is the chicken parmesan. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever had chicken parm. Have you? Nope. Yeah. I'll try it. It might be a little toasty hot. Still too hot? Okay. Ensley, what are you ranking it? Well, I couldn't taste it that much. <laughs> it was really it's hot. hot. <laughs> I can feel it going down my throat right oh, now. Oh, great. Oh, great. And so, but, um, I still could taste it because I like the texture of it, so I'll give it a bite. Five. I, really five like out of her. I love chicken parm, so I'm giving it a five too. <laughs> Air fryer has won all three dinners today. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, if you want more air fryer recipes, you can find some just right over there. Yep. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.